Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, a simple and easy to use food delivery service that brings food right to your doorstep and allows you to make simple and easy meals in 30 minutes. If you go to HelloFresh.com and enter the coupon code ME30, you will receive $30 off your first week of meals. So today I'm going to be testing out this gadget. And this is the perfect bacon bowl. So what this gadget does is transform your flat bacon into a three-dimensional bowl, and you can stuff it with mac and cheese, BLT, burger, or dessert. Now this one has me intrigued. I think this is what I'm going to attempt to do. If the bowls come out successful, I want to taste this. So yes, I found this at my savers and I paid a whopping $1.99 for it. Let me show you what's inside. Here are the bacon bowls and instructions. So they look a lot like a citrus reamer or a citrus juicer. Very, very heavy plastic, as I would hope it would be because we're supposed to be able to put this in the microwave and the regular conventional oven. So since I have two of these, I'm gonna test both the microwave and the regular oven, and I'm gonna try using a muffin tin as well. I'm gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison. I have a hunch that you can probably skip buying this and just use a muffin tin instead. So I'm gonna go wash these out and go ahead and prepare this. So the oven preparation says it takes 35 minutes, so let's do that one first. We're gonna take our bacon bowl, put it on a tray. I'm also gonna use my muffin tin too. So for each bowl, we're gonna need two halves for the bottom. We're supposed to crisscross this over the bottom like this. Crisscross, and that's going to be the base. Okay, so we'll do the same for our muffin tin. The muffin tin right off is not as deep as the bacon bowl. So I trimmed a little bit of the excess bacon off. I'm gonna build both bacon bowls and then I'll put one in the microwave. So now that we have the bases built, we're going to take two pieces of bacon that are not cut in half and wrap them around the outside. It has very specific instructions for the bacon placement. It says to put the fatty side of the bacon towards the top of the bowl. And it also says to make sure you overlap the edges of the bacon so it makes a good seal. Now we're supposed to take our final strip of bacon, again with the fatty side toward the top of the maker, and we're supposed to put the overlapping side on the opposite end of this. This will seal it in, I imagine. Again, they want you to make sure that you overlap and kind of press to seal. Okay, so press that all down, sticking pretty nicely. And this time the seam is on this end. Okay, so we'll repeat that on this one. For the homemade version, I don't think two strips of bacon are gonna fit because it's not as tall. So I'm just gonna do one piece of bacon and see what happens. And overlapping it. Okay, so these two I'm gonna pop in the oven for 35 minutes at 375. Bye guys. So while my bacon bowl is baking, let me tell you a little bit about HelloFresh. So everything you need comes delivered to your doorstep in a cool and insulated box. You can choose from three different plans, the classic, veggie, or the family. It's a great and easy way to try new recipes and ingredients, and you don't dirty up a lot of bowls. And so cleanup is a breeze. Recipes are really easy to follow. You just use these step-by-step -step instruction cards. It's really clear and simple, super easy, convenient, tasty, and the meals work out to be about $10 per meal. So for this month of meals, not surprisingly, my boys really enjoyed the crispy cheddar Frico cheeseburger. And if you head over to HelloFresh.com and enter the coupon code ME30, you will receive $30 off your first week of meals. Big thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better content for you guys. And let's go ahead and check on our bacon bowls. Grease is contained, grease is not contained so much in that one. All right, so this one's gonna go into the microwave. If you have an 1100 watt oven, it's gonna cook for two minutes and 30 seconds. If it's not done, you're gonna continue cooking it at intervals of 30 seconds until it's nice and crisp. So they said two minutes and 30 seconds in 1100 watt oven. My oven is 700 watts, so two minutes and 30 seconds later, let me show you what I've got. Oh my gosh. This. Look at that. It is so tiny. But it's crispy. It's 
it collected a good amount of grease. That's probably about a quarter cup of grease. And it said I'm supposed to let this cool on here before I remove it. But that looks pretty crispy. And it looks like a bowl. I was just not prepared to see how much it would have shrunk. Boy, my muffin tin one's gonna be just plate. <laughs> So if you have an 1100 watt oven, I would recommend starting doing this at two minutes because two minutes and 30 seconds was just perfect for a 700 watt oven. In a higher wattage oven, you'd probably get charcoal. <laughs> okay, so here is the bacon bowl. It's more of a bacon saucer. Let me run this under the tap and see how well it cleans up. So that cleaned up really, really easily. I just used some hot water and squirted some soap on my scrub brush and that cleaned up really, really easily. All right, with 10 minutes left, let me show you what's going on here. So this is my muffin tin cupcake version. That looks like it's done. This one is the perfect bacon bowl maker. That is definitely not done. So I'm gonna take this one off and allow it to cool. So back into the oven for 10 more minutes for this one. And that one turned out pretty great. So I'm gonna let that cool before I remove it, but it seems to have a lot less shrinking than the microwave one. Alrighty, so 35 minutes have elapsed. Let's go get the oven bacon bowl. And this too has significantly less shrinkage than the microwave version. Although it doesn't look as crisp. I'm gonna let that completely cool before removing it from the mold. Okay, meanwhile, the muffin tin one should be nice and cool now and it's nice and stuck on. So I probably should have greased this pan, although I thought there'd be enough fat in the bacon itself to keep this from sticking. If you attempt this, put some butter or oil on your muffin tin, because I don't want to break my cup. All right, there's the cup. <laughs> this one to me looks a lot more like the one that is shown in this photograph, almost identical in terms of results. Let's see how the oven perfect bacon bowl is doing. So this on the other hand comes off very easily. You don't need to grease it at all. So here are my finished bacon bowls. These two were made using the bacon bowl maker. Now this one had less shrinkage. This was done in the oven, although it does want to come apart a little bit here. This one was done in the microwave, very, very well cooked and a lot of shrinkage. It doesn't even look like a bowl any longer. And this one was done in the oven as well on a metal muffin tin. And what I like about this one, this seems a little bit crisper and I think that's due to the fact that the pan was metal and it conducts the heat a little bit better than the plastic. This one seems a little bit undercooked in the inside even though I cooked it for an additional five minutes. This is nice and crispy on the inside and this one also uses one less piece of bacon and you're left with still a nice looking bowl. Now that we've done a little visual comparison, let's go ahead and do a taste test. These are the two that were made using the perfect bacon bowl maker. This is the oven version and this is the microwave version. So as you can hear, the microwave version has a very crisp texture. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just need a little bit of tomato. So stinking good. Mmm, mmm, tomato. Tomato and bacon are like best friends. Oh, there's some leftover tomato. Oh my gosh, come here, tomato. Yep, tomato, bacon, yum. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now I want a BLT. So stinking good. One of the best combinations ever. Crispy, crispy bacon, yummy, yummy tomato. I love the texture and the flavor and the way this bacon was cooked. I don't like how much it shrunk. You sort of lost the sense of boldness when the bacon shrunk this much, but excellent texture. So this one has a little bit more flexibility to it. The bacon is not as well done. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. So at this point, in terms of what I'm tasting, it becomes more of a preference. Do you like your bacon more cooked or less cooked? It's really up to you. But in terms of how this product worked, it did work. It's just a matter of adjusting it to your own preferences. So of the two means of cooking, I think I prefer the oven method, although it takes longer. Because of that extended cooking time, there is less shrinkage. 
I do like the convenience of the microwave. It does it very, very quickly. It's just a matter of adjusting for the cooking time. This could easily go into charcoal territory. I'm gonna go ahead and make a dessert version of the bacon bowl, and I'm gonna fill it with some ice cream. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, doink. Alrighty, so here's my bacon sundae. Let's see how it compares with the other two. Just the bacon. Mm-hmm. Same bacony flavor, great crisp texture. I think of those two bowls, this is the perfect hybrid. This is the perfect amount of doneness. Not overly cooked, still nice and crispy. I like the one layer of bacon around the edge of the cup rather than two. Two feels a little bit heavy. The inner one seemed a little less cooked, especially in the oven version. And I think you only really need one to get that kind of crisp, great baconiness. So yeah, it looks like the muffin method works equally as well as the perfect bacon bowl maker. So I would say just skip the bacon bowl maker. Alrighty, now for the best part, the ice cream and the bacon. Cut some of this. Oh my goodness. This is just plain vanilla ice cream with a little bit of chocolate drizzled on top a bacon bowl. Cheers. Hmm. The ice cream is delicious. So at first, I didn't really taste any of the bacon. I just was tasting nice vanilla rich ice cream melting in my mouth. And then I finished with the biting of the bacon, which seemed a little bit greasy and finished with a strong bacony flavor. The textures I don't think really work for me. It's a little bit too fatty. You get kind of this coating of grease on your tongue. I love the flavor of bacon, but I don't think it works all that well with vanilla ice cream. Maybe with a different flavor ice cream, maybe like salted caramel, then you'd have this kind of transition of like salty dessert to salty bacon crust. Alrighty, so there you have it. The perfect bacon bowl maker. Like many of these gadgets, I would just say skip this. You can use a muffin tin that's been inverted. Just make sure you grease it. But maybe if you don't have a conventional oven and just have a microwave and you really are charmed by this shape, maybe this would be something for you. Big thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Head over to HelloFresh.com and enter the code ME30 to receive $30 off your first week of deliveries. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media so you can figure out how to win the bacon bowl maker for yourself. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>